What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to create a projectile in C++. It is going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints. You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer. This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need. So you can check it out right now through the link in the description. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is create a new C++ class. So let's go up into tools, new C++ class, and let's go ahead and select a parent. In this case, an actor will be perfect because, well, our projectile will be an actor in our level or world that will be placed or spawned, in this case, spawned. So actor is exactly what we need. So let's click next and name this something that, you know, will make sense, like projectile. In this case, let me just write projectile tutorial because I already have one in my pre-code projectile and let's just click generate class as you can see this will open up visual studio let me zoom in a bit so you can see a bit better and we have the header file and the c++ file so I do have a beginner tutorial on how to use c++ in Unreal engine so I will be linking that in the description just in case you want to know a bit more but basically in the header file we will define all of our variables functions and etc and in the C++ file, we will actually implement that logic. So what we need to do is go into our projectile header and just define some things that we will need. In this case, we need a projectile mesh, okay? So an object that we can see in our world. And then we're gonna be using the Unreal Projectile Movement component because that will make sure that our projectile will be perfect. It will have some force with gravity and we can do all that through C++, which is cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new mesh. So let's go into the header file, which is where we define variables and so on. Go into the public section to make things simpler. And what we need to do is create a new uh, static mesh. So for this, let's go and just add a U static mesh component. And then this will be a pointer, very important, um, because it's going to be accessing another class. And then we're going to name this something as just a projectile mesh, right? Something simple. Let me make the P also in like this. Okay, great. And now, uh, as you can see, this is not, um, you know, underlined. Well, it's not underlined, but with a color. And that's because it doesn't detect this class. So we would need to include the header file, but we can just click class and it will automatically detect it in the header file because we're not, uh, you know, implementing any logic into this. So now we have our mesh. Now make sure that we have the U property at the beginning and just make this edit anywhere so we can see it in our blueprints. If we don't add this, we will not see uh, this variable in our you know blueprint and be able to edit it or whatever okay very important okay so now with that said we can also add the uh, projectile component but first of all let's just um create uh, finish off creating the mesh so let's go to the c plus plus and go into the constructor so first of all let's set the tick to be false because we don't need our bullet to be taking every frame it will just be a waste of uh, performance and now what we can do on here is create this projectile mesh so let's go ahead and just write projectile if i know how to type <laughs> projectile mesh and this will be equal and we can call this which is the create default sub object as a tricky name and now we can just put in this angle brackets the class which is gonna be a u static mesh component that's the thing that's the object that we want to create okay and now we just need to put the parenthesis because it's a function and we can just use the text macro to assign the text because we need to name uh, this new object that we're creating in this case is projectile mesh will do this job and now at the end we're going to be adding the uh, semicolon so the line is finished and now this object has been created okay this variable has been assigned with this new static mesh component that we have added to the blueprint but well in this case it's not a blueprint yet but the class but it will not appear because we haven't uh, de defined or said where we want to uh, put this mesh we have created it but we haven't put it in a specific place in our class so what we can do is you say that the root component will be equal to the projectile 
mesh, okay? And that is how we're gonna be applying our mesh to be in our root component, so it will appear in our hierarchy. Okay, so now with that said, we can actually test this out and we will see that we have a mesh. So we go back to Unreal Engine and just click this compile icon. It will basically open up live coding, compile our um, C++ code into Unreal and we will have basically everything working. So let's wait a few seconds depending on your um, project size and also uh, lines of code that you know files that you edited and so on it will take a bit longer or it will be a bit faster so it's just having a bit of patience all right so you can see it has said uh, that it has you know successfully uh, compiled our project so now what we can do is go into the C++ classes folder and search for our projectile which in this case is here projectile tutorial drag it into our level you can see this is an actor and indeed it has our static mesh component and we're gonna apply whatever static mesh we want for example this sphere but let's convert this c class into a blueprint so we can edit it a bit more uh, efficiently and then spawn it also a bit more efficiently okay uh, so we can also assign a mesh and so on uh, by default so just right click on this and you say create blueprint class based on this um you know c plus plus class and we can just name this bp underscore projectile tutorial let me put the p the uppercase there we go and now we can just say to save it in content or whatever you want and just create this new blueprint and we have it over here and we can just select the mesh and just apply a simple sphere uh, like I don't know whatever sphere really and now we can also just lock this and make this go a bit smaller because this is quite big and then we can also just add a um, if for example a red uh, material because it's a bullet right uh, projector whatever you want this is an example you can put whatever mesh you want but now if we drag in this blueprint, it will automatically have the mesh and the material assigned, which is what we want. And as you can see, if we go to class settings, uh, well, even we can see it here, uh, the parent class is that projectile tutorial in C++. So all the code will be going from, uh, from C++, but in blueprints, we can edit all of the visuals and so on that we expose, okay? So now with that said, let's save everything, go back to Visual Studio, and now we can create our projectile movement component that will add the logic and the force by Unreal, which is gonna be very cool. So let's go down into our header file, which is where we define our variables, and what we need to do is go and add this. In this case, it's a bit tricker. It's not as simple as just, um, well, actually, it's, it's, it's very straightforward. Uh, we can just say class, okay, because so we don't need to add the include. And then we can just go ahead and uh, write u projectile um, com uh, movement component. And then use the pointer. And then this will be the projectile component, okay? Uh, and that is how we have our variable. Make sure. Uh, actually, we don't need to, yeah, we need actually to uh, put the U property so we can see it on our uh, blueprint because if not, it will not show up or even uh, we cannot edit it in this case, okay? And then we're gonna go back to the constructor and then here we need to create it. And it's gonna be very similar to what we did on line 12. Basically, this projectile component will be equal to a new object that we're gonna create, which is create default uh, fold sub object and i can put this angular brackets and then you just put the type which is going to be u um, projectile movement components make sure to put movement in here uh it's just in the variable i didn't put movement so it's a bit shorter but in the class we need put the brackets because it's a function and now we can use the text macro to put in the name which in this case once again is a string so it has to be with the um speech marks and can just be projectile component, right? And with that said, the end semicolon, and we just need to uh, just save, go back to Unreal, and just go into our level, click the compile button, and it will basically compile all of the changes. And now you will see that if we go back to the blueprint or even in the C++ class, uh, and we drag into the level, uh, we will see that new projectile component. And, um, and we just go ahead and work. 
So let me just give it two seconds. Uh, I don't know why. I think it's because I'm recording. It's taking a lot to compile. Not only this literally like five seconds, but uh, let's wait a bit. Okay, so it has compiled. I can just close this. And now we go back to the um, blueprint. You can see that it's here. Projectile component. Great. So now we can add stuff as, for example, the initial speed, max speed, and everything. Um, because we added the tag of edit anywhere in the header, right? We can basically select it and edit in the uh, details panel. But one thing that we can do is also apply those two initial parameters from our um, uh C++ class. So we have it a bit more organized in C++. So we can just get the projectile component variable that we created. And because this is a, a pointer, we need to add the arrow uh, symbol instead of the equals or the, sorry, the point, right? It's not going to be point, it's going to be arrow because it's a pointer. And I'm going to set the initial uh, speed variable to be something around uh, like 800. And then we can also put here the max speed to be a bit more maybe like 8500 so i can have a bit of acceleration and that's it now when we basically spawn this particle this particle this projectile it will add some speed at the beginning so let's go back to unreal go and just um compile this and now you'll see that those values in the uh, detail span will be assigned if i go back into here and now select the Pareto component you can see that now it has the values assigned and just in case you didn't see that just make sure to right click asset actions and reload the blueprint just in case you don't see those values update but it should okay so now with that said if i just drag in my uh Pareto blueprint okay make sure because we need the sphere and just uh press alt s to simulate you can see that indeed <laughs> indeed it's very fast but indeed the projectile is being spawned as you can see which is really really cool and we have this from c plus plus but as quickly as a bonus for this video make a projectile spawner in c plus plus so let's go up into tools new class in this case let's just choose actor so we can place it in our world and where we want our projectiles to spawn click next this will be our projectile spawner and let's just put tutorial on here and now let's click generate class this will open up the new header and c++ uh, files and basically what we want to do is go into here all right and just uh, write the following so we need a new u property um which it will be edit anywhere and why do we need edit anywhere if i can type well, that is because we want this to be available in the blueprint details panel and then we're gonna write t subclass of and then the angular brackets because we're referencing a class which is going to be the a um a projectile tutorial uh, oh my god i don't know how to type today <laughs> tutorial there we go okay now close this and name it projectile in this case actor right because it is the one that we want to spawn okay so basically this will have a reference to our blueprint that's why we need to pass the t subclass off we cannot directly pass the c plus plus class because it will not we will cannot pick a blueprint okay that is why so now if we go into the c plus plus well, well first of all yeah let's go to c plus plus go to the begin play and we can just spawn here our uh you know projectile so can you just go and write get world because in order to access the get world uh, function we need to get the world we can just add the arrow because it's a pointer and do the spawn actor function and down here we will need different parameters the first thing is what we want to spawn well that's the variable that we have just created the projectile actor then where do we want to spawn this in this case we can just get the actor location and because it's a function make sure to add the uh, double parentheses at the end then it is the rotation what rotation well just get actor rotation because it will just spawn where this actor is as simple as that add the um double parentheses at the end uh, close this and now we are ready it should spawn this so now let's go and just compile this right and but you will see that we have a whole bunch of different errors and why is this happening that's because we are trying to access the projectile actor class 
without adding the include where we implement it, which is in the C++. And here we just add the class, there's like a kind of way to skip the include, but in here we need to add it. So we can just add a new line, say include, and then just put in the speech marks, our projectile tutorial dot h. And we have missed in here to pass in the type which is very important, which is gonna be a projectile tutorial. Okay, there we go, close the brackets, and now, yes, we can compile, and in Unreal, I can just get the Pareto spawner, drag it into our level. As you can see, it doesn't have any positioning. Uh, this can be solved by just manually here adding a cube. You can add a mesh from uh, C++ if you want, but for this example, I'm gonna do it quick like this, right? I'm gonna make it very small. Uh, and then I just want to go ahead and press play. Now you will see that it didn't do anything. That's because we need to set the uh, class over here. In this case, the blueprint. And now, yes, it will spawn that. But of course, it's, <laughs> it's making collisions. So make sure to go into the cube and disable the collision by setting no collision. And now, yes, when I press play, the spawner will spawn the bullet and well in this case the projectile all in C++. So that's it guys, if you found this tutorial helpful or really shit, you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials so check them out. Check out my new course of Game TV in Unreal Engine 5, uh, join my Discord server, follow me in my socials, and now yes, with all that said, bye bye.